it rained today. The water was slightly radioactive. The question is what's in the water? Fukushima fallout? Or radon washout? Is it man-made? Or naturally occurring? We use a little science to determine the answer to that question. This is Tom from anti-proton.com. As many of you know, I am not a professional scientist. I'm a computer scientist. I have a degree in computers, not physics, not health physics. But I do use correct scientific method, and I will show you what's in your water. Join me. All right, folks, we are back in the lab. As you can see, there is a gamma spectrometer, which will be useful for isotope identification. And in closing, just for giggles, potassium-40, cesium-137, let's flip this upside down so you can see it, and uranium. How do we know that's uranium? Because it glows when you put the black light near it. Of course, not all uranium does that, but regardless. Surely there will be a difference. Now the potassium salt. Just clicks. And now the cesium-137. It's hotter, but from a, uh, if you hold it back a little bit, I trust you get the point. Yeah, it kind of tells you it's there, not what it is. And that's just how it is.